Hi, in this lesson we're going to look at finding the intersection of two planes. Right, we're going to have a go at solving this problem where um, we're finding the vector equation of the line in which um, this plane, um, 2x take away 5y plus 3z is equal to 12, and this plane, 3x plus 4y take away 3z is equal to 6, beat each other. Right, um, in order to start this problem, we're going to um, first of all um, write this Cartesian equation of a plane and this Cartesian of, of the equation of a plane um, in dot product form. We're going to look at writing it um, in the form r dot n is equal to um, d. Okay, so we're going to have it in this form here. So um, first of all, I'm going to write this one. Um, so this is our first plane, and that's going to be two, two, five, three, equal to twelve, and the other one is. Okay, right, so um, just to highlight what this means, um, the vector 2, negative 5, 3 um, is the normal um, to this plane, and 3, 4, negative 3 is the normal to this plane here. Um, just as a kind of quick check, if this was x, y, z, if I did the dot product, I'd get x times 2, which is 2x, y times negative 5, which would take away 5y, plus 3z is equal to 12 and so this and this mean exactly the same thing right okay what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to autograph and we're just going to have a look at what this is going to look like graphically so I'm going to first of all start by putting in um, the vector equation sorry the Cartesian equation of my two planes so the first one was 2 vector take away 5 y plus 3 is equal to 12 and that's that one there and um, I'm also going to put in the other one which is 3x plus 4y take away 3z equals 6 there you go and um, we can see there that there is a line of intersection um, and any point along this line of intersection will be a solution to, to this pair of equations. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to highlight that this here and this here is going to be a normal um, to both of those, um, to each of those planes respectively. So I'm going to put in um, this vector here. So I'm just going to show it going through the origin. Three. And I need to zoom out a little bit for this. Okay, and I'm just going to create a vector between those two points. And we should be able to see that that is in fact a um, normal to our first plane. And um, similarly, I'm going to do the other one, which was 3, 4, negative 3. And I'm going to create a vector that goes through that point there. There we go, and we should see that that is normal to our second plane. Now, um, what um, we're looking for here now, for the next part, is um, 
we want to know the direction in which this intersection is going and in fact if I can find a line that's perpendicular or a vector that's perpendicular to both of the um, normals here that would in fact tell me the direction of the um, line of intersection so to find um, that perpendicular vector what I would need to do is find the cross product of um, both of these normals so I'm just going to um, do that graphically first this time so that we can see what that's going to look like so if I do the cross product of those two we can see and I'll flip this around here okay we can see that this vector here is actually going in the same direction as our intersection okay so this is the direction of our intersection we now know what this part of our um, vector equation is going to be what we will need to do is to also decide what this part is because we need to know a position um, along um, that line of intersection so that we can describe um, what that intersection is so um, if we go back over here um, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to um, have a look at what the direction vector is um, so we've looked at it graphically and now we're actually going to work it out um, and then we're going to follow that with finding a point that lies on um, the intersection of both of these planes so um, first of all we need to do the cross product of the two normals okay so I want to do the cross product of these two normals here so I've got and I want to cross that with this one here and if we do that um, our cross product we should work out we've got 15 to 1, 12 which is and then we've got 15 and finally over here we've got 8 15, 23 okay so this vector here is, is, is what we found um, graphically on autograph and it's telling us the direction um, in which our vector um, sorry our line of intersection is going okay what we need to do now is we need to find a um, point um, that both of these planes pass through um, so that we can have a full definition um, of our vector equation of the line so um, in order to do this um, we are just going to choose a value for either our x y um, or our z so I'm going to choose um, for x to be equal to 0 to, m to make it more convenient so um, and I could have chosen y to be 0 or z to be 0 or I could have chosen any of them to be any particular value um, but I'm, g I'm going to choose x to be equal to 0 so I'm just going to say over here that let x equals 0 so if x is equal to 0 um, I'm now going to have two equations with two unknowns so I should be able to then work out what the solution is so I've got um, from there I've got negative y plus 3z is equal to 12 and from here I've got 4y take away 3z is equal to 6 okay so solving these simultaneously um, I should be able to work out that if I add these equations together I get negative y is equal to 18 so y is equal to negative 18 um, and if I substitute that back into this equation here um, I'll have 4 lots of minus 18 so take away 3z is equal to 6 so um, which 
which tells me that said okay so I have now got a position vector because I know that when x is 0 y is negative um, 18 and z is negative 26 that satisfies both of these equations and therefore it must be a point that our line of intersection passes through so um, that there. okay so we can now write down the equation of the intersection as r is equal to and um, we will have our position vector that we've just worked out as 0 26 plus lambda times by our direction um, of our intersection which is what we've worked out over here is 15 23 okay um, what I'm now going to do is pop back over to autograph and I'm going to put in that line and we're just going to check that this is actually true So um, I'm going to put in zero, negative 18, negative 26, and the direction vector was 3, 15, 23. And hopefully this will give us a line that lies exactly on that intersection. And hopefully we can just about make that out. Um, and there you go, we've got our line of intersection. Okay, so just to clarify what we did, we started off with um, two equations of a plane in Cartesian form. We wrote that in um, the dot product form so that we can find the two normals. Um, we then did the cross product of the two normals um, to give us the direction of the intersection which is this part here we then needed to decide a point um, that the line goes through and um, so we chose to make x equals zero um, and we worked out what y and z would be that then gave us the position vector we needed and we also had the direction vector we needed so we could write down what the parametric equation of that line of intersection was and we checked that on autograph and it was correct. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.